hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of The War of the Nine Penny Kings as we continue with King Ares the Unready. If you are enjoying the series, please do consider leaving a like. Hopefully I can earn your subscription today and you will hit that red button to subscribe, help grow the channel, comment with any hints, tips, pieces of lore that you wish to uh, share with everyone and share the video. Thank you for all your support and without further ado, we will continue as the unfortunately named Ares the Unready. Although I feel like we've improved him from the uh, Canon Ares. He's doing much better than Canon Ares. And also, our young Rhaegar, not quite as good as the other Rhaegar, but good, uh, good diplomacy, decent martial, but not as good as Rhaegar. The Lord of the Iron Isles is going on a big old reaving. At the moment, we are not earning a great deal of funds, and we went to war with Pentos to try and change that. Can we go to war with... we cannot go to war with Myrrh. The capital of Myrrh has actually changed. We can go to war with Myrrh. I guess we could do that. Hmm... I kind of want to expand the realm by conquest, but I'm not being given the option. What about Volantis? No, there's no point to doing Volantis. Alright, war with Myra it is. Let's get some money. Let's get our vassal troops only. We're not going to use our own troops if we can avoid it. The Lord of Driftmark now is giving me much more troops because we are close friends now. He's deeply affectionate towards us. Uh, in fact, you can just go back there. We don't need you. Right. Uh, Lord Stefan will fight. Tywin will fight. Lord Edmund Tully will fight. Dawn, Aaron, not bad. What's that? Five or six of them will. Not only has Lord Paramount Stefan chosen to support me, but he has also pledged eternal loyalty. Good man. Good man. He knows how to treat his king. Uh, we have a offer from Ty... Oh, okay. Should have paused that. My bad. Keeper of the Swans. Duskendale, you can have that. Are you moving? Yeah, he is moving. We have very good commanders at the moment. And they are just about to send some troops across. So let's uh, send some to block them. Right, well, we actually want them to land, so let's let them land, and then we can go smash them. Your king thanks you for your service, Alma, Samuel, and Martin. Fight well. And they do. They knock 4k off those troops. That's pretty heavy. And if we do this and get some more fleet from you, we can send the whole army over to start sieging uh, Myrrh itself. Which would be lovely because we can earn extra money. You come down here. We will have uh, Tywin. You can deal with the Miralees over in our land. Traditionally, Dragonstone is the seat of the heir apparent. Therefore, I hereby request as your son and heir that I be made Prince of Dragonstone. Yes, I'm happy to do that. You can have the High Lordship. Congrats, boy. 
I should have done that a bit earlier, but you've turned out very well. I'm glad I didn't give it to you too early. We're going to land our troops and actually try and siege the capital Mur itself. Let's just go smash his troops, because otherwise we're just going to be taking heavy attrition here. We need someone to protect Rhaegar. Needs to be someone that's good at fighting. Harlan Grandison wouldn't be a bad shout. Although William Dowry as well. Let's send Dowry, he's younger. He might bond more. Okay, we're running good reinforcement rate. Smash those troops. We are going to siege the harbour of Mo itself. Try and get some sieging money. You want to send me your daughter? Thanks very much. We'll gladly accept. What does the wine cellar do in terms of bonus? You don't know. But it must do something. Rhaegar is having his first children, which is lovely to see. Both my children like me. Uh, you're marrying a Westerman. You are... You could marry... My son, Stefan. Why not? Keep it in the family. My wife has retired to the set for a short while to gather her thoughts. Yes, spend some time with your lover. I know you love her, Ares. Why not, you cheeky bugger? Okay, we're at 88%. I think this war should be fairly short and sweet, to be fair. But we certainly want... Oh, good. The Iron Isles is actually joining. We do want this uh, war to earn us a good chunk of gold. That's the whole point of doing this. Oh, my lover is with child. Once again, as you arrive at court, you see Sir Gregor fix you with a steely gaze. Well, he already knows that we are her lover, I'm sure. But we're... We're his king, so there's nothing he can do about it. 150 gold. Right, let's give them gold. Because we're about to earn some good gold. And hopefully some good gold from sieging Mer itself. We can end the war. It didn't really earn us any gold, unfortunately. Let's just pause for a second. Any chance of... Yes, you will pay for some ransom. And 10 gold is nothing to be shunned at. The little bits help, you know. Yeah, send them to the dungeon. That got us some gold as well. Let's ransom her off as well. We can seize this place. Uh, we keep capturing people, actually. Sadly, we can't ransom these, but let's try and ransom all of them if we can. How much are we going to get for this? We will gain only 98 gold. I want more. Let's try sieging the capital. And truly wreck them. See what happens. Lord Lucifer Hardy of Cracklaw Point has come to you with a grievance. He feels that a recent judgment you made regarding some of his property is unjust. So he could become bitter rivals. Or lose a bit of prestige. How many troops does he give? Not that many. Go away. Oh, I don't want to be fat. Oh, I don't want to be fat. No, we're going to diet. We're not being fat. Right, we're going to siege the capital, and then once that siege... Oh, no, don't get depressed. Seems my lover's child has died. Uh, we'll just acknowledge him.
It's not been easy, but I think I'm finally managing to get back in shape. Good. Diet's paying off. Keep it going, Ares. You're doing well. Siege of Mer got me not that much money, really, did it? We'll uh, assault the Green Gate, and then we will call it there. There we go. That'll do. End of the war. We got about 100 gold for it. Eh, it wasn't worth it that much, to be honest. But we gave it a good roll. And it did pay off in the sense that Stefan declared eternal loyalty to House Targaryen. Yes, reappoint the old council. You want me to ask Mace of the Reach to stand down? I, I prefer Tywin anyway, so he won't do it. Ooh. That's not good. Let's give Luthor Tyrell a claim. Right, let's uh, end this. End the Iron Fleet. And we can just relax for a little bit. We need to uh, enjoy some celebrations. I need to appoint a new hand and a new Master of Whisperers because unfortunately the Master of Whisperers I had is not going to work. Uh, ooh, we don't have a great option here, do we? Jarella, I guess you're the only one that we've got. My daughter is going to be cruel, which is a bit disappointing. What are you guys fighting over? Paramount Mace's claim on Greenfield. Looks like Tywin was struggling a little bit. We'll see what happens. Shira, I am not going to bother educating you. You can start earning money for me. Lucifer is clearly a traitor and a threat to my rule. Though I have no proof, I'm surely... I surely have the right to arrest and question him as I see fit. No, we don't want that tyranny right now. I do not need that in my life. We do need to check the plots. Because we've not looked at them in a while and there may well be some against us. Pirate King we can arrest, but we won't. So there's no one really that we want to arrest right now. White Harbour has been converted to the Faith of the Seven. Interesting. Have I actually sent you over there to do that? I don't think I have. Hmm. Interesting. My sister wife Rayla has been really letting herself go as of late. Stop stuffing yourself, you pig. <laughs> She has actually accepted, and our relationship goes a little bit closer. Uh-oh, Dangerous Faction for Independence. Yikes. Go away, my man. I can't even arrest this man. Uh, we need to deal with this faction right now. We really need to deal with this faction. You're a good diplomat. You're a good fighter. You're not so good, but you can become my hand. You can become my cupbearer, have some money, what else do you want? I need you out of this faction. I do not like that two paramounts are in this. So he wants 104 gold, how much does she want? 47, oh we can pay her off. And then at least she'll leave. I'm assuming she'll leave. Okay, yes. We'll lose the tournament, but we need to see that she leaves. Come on, Dawn. Leave, please. It would be greatly appreciated if you left. You're not going to leave, are you? You wretches. I just sent you money and you're not going to leave. Ah. Well, it's less likely that's going to happen. Shira is very good at uh, intrigue. Let's send her to Jarella. Or maybe Massey's Hook, because it's going to improve my relation with him. Master of Laws, improve relations with the North, please, for the love of Lord. We need that better. 
Dawn is still there, but the North has actually left. Thank God that the North has left. My wife has retired to the Sept, but we'll go and see our lover again. Dawn wants a marriage proposal by Raynar of the King's Gate and Lord Oberlin of Dawn. Sure. I need to get some kids married to some big lords, if we can. Ah, Lord, Lord of the Reach, Alistair. Yes, please, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you will accept the betrothal. We could hold a tournament, but I want to hold a feast. We need to celebrate. Enjoy a little bit. Get people on side. Um, there's a few people that's not going to attend as always, but less not attending than I would have thought, so that's good. Yes, we'll have dancers. We'll spend as much as we need to spend on this, but we just need it to be good. Welcome to the feast, everyone. Hopefully this will actually get rid of the independence faction support. Uh, Sir Ethan is happy at the food that's fine he's a bit of a nobody i'm planning a special occasion with my lover but my wife is quite insistent on alternate plans who is more important with me uh, arrange a ball and invite my lover let's do that so simon hollard has used his attendance to request hostella be arrested fine i started talking to one of the guests and found them most interesting Jarella and me have become close friends well that's good because she is my Master of Whisperers, so if we are good friends, then that's only going to help. My lover... Oh, the comfort my lover offered me has resulted in her being pregnant. Yet more bastard children for us. Good stuff. I thought the food was superb, the wine mediocre, and the dance is beautiful. Um, so we could get some more piety... They do look like they're having fun. We could improve relations with our wife. I think that's a good thing to do. And we're going to get plus two diplomacy, plus five vassal opinion. Beautiful. And the war between these guys has ended. I wonder who won. Mace won. Oh, so he's got... Uh, Greenfield. Interesting. Tywin's not going to be too happy about that. Also, Tywin's no longer my hand, but I don't want to kick out uh, Edwal. And I think Edwal, with all due respect, is probably not long for this world. So we'll see. Joanna is with child. Hopefully she can persuade her husband. <laughs> the husband knows. Yes, well, we know. Warden of the West will be Tywin again. Septon we actually need to appoint. We don't have any Septons. Interesting. Let's go see our lover again. See if we can get some more bastard kids. Okay, good. Crown loyalists looking fairly strong. Someone's trying to kill me. Who? Ooh, Lucifer is. End this plot, please. In fact, can I have him arrested? 22% chance. End the plot. And then try and have him arrested. Right, that's done. Can I still have you arrested? No. Hmm. Perhaps I should have tried when he was doing the actual plotting. Lesson learned. So, Leo, you can go. You're not going to help me at all being in my prison. It seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Little Milara is my spitting image. Let's acknowledge her as mine. Because we can get allies from her, which is makes her most useful. My poor wife, though. Actually, she, she's probably just realised how many people, or how many extramarital kids we've had. So far, four. 
we have had four extramarital children. And undoubtedly we'll have more. A warden title stands empty. Yes, he's died, thank God. Tywin, you're back in, buddy. Well, that worked out quite well. That's going to help improve taxes, having Tywin back in. Uh, we still don't have a Septon, do we? Can we invite a Septon? Wait, there's a... Oh, that's the High Septon. I can't really invite him. Oh, Shira's a genius. Let's invite her. And she has great stewardship. At a meeting of the small council, Lord Commander Gerald has recommended that Sir Amory become a uh, member of the Kingsguard. And yes, I would be very happy with that. Awesome. There's always a lot of Dornishmen that... Uh, end up in the King's Guard. Ashmark has revolted against the tyranny and is going to get stomped. Rickard Stark is the new Lord of the North. Let's give him a position on the small council and just encourage him. He can also be a commander. No matter how discreet, discreet I am, uh, Rayla manages to grow suspicious of my behaviour. Tell her it's none of her business. Tell her to do important things. We don't want to get depressed. Or just, oh, sorry, it's deceitful. Go on, let's see what happens. We've gained deceitful, that's fine. Let's just make sure that that chap is not plotting against us again. In relations, rivals, did he die? Perhaps my other rival died. I don't even know. Oh, Gregor doesn't like us because Joanna Lannister is our lover. And we've had pretty much all of our children. In fact, we have had all of our children. It's just one of them wasn't legitimised. Well, quite the eventful episode. We had the war with Myrrh. Things so far are going fairly well. How's our troop count? A bit lower than it was when we started, but we have had a war, and the rest of the realm have had a little bit of war. But we still seem to be fairly um, cohesive in our actual uh, Westeros realm. How is it going across the Narrow Sea? Kozo, you have a pretty big Dothraki horde. Yeah. It looks like the realm is under the normal... Uh, there's been a war with Pentos and Myrrh by the looks of it. But all in all, not too much going on. If you're enjoying the uh, War of the Nine Penny Kings series, then please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe, hit that bell. By pressing the red button to subscribe, you will be greatly helping the channel to grow. And we cannot express thanks enough to help continue grow, help producing content, which hopefully you will continue to find entertaining. In the meantime, please do like, comment, and sub sub subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode of the War of the Nine Penny Kings.